La Bohème, by Giacomo Puccini. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The roles. Rodolfo, a poet. Marcello, a painter. Mimi, a semstress. Musette, a former lover of Marcello. It's Christmas Eve in Paris. The writer Rodolfo and the painter Marcello sit hungry in front of the cold oven. It is cold in the apartment, Rodolfo even sacrifices one of his manuscripts. The philosopher Colleen comes home. He's in a bad mood because he couldn't sell anything in the pawn shop because it was closed on Christmas Eve. Only the musician Shona could earn something and brings wine, firewood and some money with him. So they decide to spend Christmas Eve at Cafe Momu. They are interrupted by their landlord Banawa, who duns the long overdue rent. They get rid of him and go to the cafe. Rodolfo is the only one left, as he still has to finish an article. There is a knock at the door. It's Mimi, the semstress from the neighbor's apartment. She asks for fire for the extinguished candle. Mimi feels weak and Rodolfo takes care of her. The two talk about their lives and their dreams and fall in love with each other. Rodolfo takes Mimi to Cafe Momu. There is a lot going on in front of the Cafe Momu. Rodolfo buys a bonnet for Mimi from the toy seller and introduces her to his friends who are already partying. Musette, an old friend of Marcello's, is there and bewitches her former lover. She sends her rich lover away. On his return to the restaurant, the cheerful company is already gone and he has to pay the bill. A few weeks later, Marcello and Musette fight their way through life together, but often quarrel. Rodolfo and Mimi are about to split up. Rodolfo is always jealous. Mimi is unhappy and terminally ill. On a cold day in February, Mimi visits Marcello and asks for advice. At this moment Rodolfo enters the apartment. Mimi hides and she learns from the conversation between the two men that Rodolfo still loves her, but he wants her to find a rich friend who can help her. A cough betrays Mimi and the two fall into each other's arms. Months later, Marcello and Rodolfo go to work in the attic. They haven't heard from Musette or Mimi for a long time and are nostalgically remembering these times. Colleen and Shona enter and bring something simple to eat. A little later Musette bursts into the room and has the terminally ill Mimi in her arms. Mimi wanted to see Rodolfo one last time but she couldn't make the stairs on her own. Everyone leaves the apartment to sell their most valuable belongings to buy medicine. Only Rodolfo and Mimi remain in the apartment. Mimi sings one last time about her love for Rodolfo. When the friends return, Mimi is happy about the presents. A little later she is dead. www.operainside.com All about operas. Learn more about this great opera. With interesting facts and great YouTube videos. Visit us.